Hi everyone, uh, I'm uh, Ray, I work at the Meetup. Uh, I'm, uh, I work as an infrastructure engineer. Uh, today I'm going to share some stories that we do around Kubernetes CI/CD practice at the Meetup. This is like an end user uh, perspective to deploy application. So before I jump into my story, I want to ask a simple question, which is actually a core to CI/CD. So when you push a single line of a code change, either a configuration change or a code change, or just a typo to production, how long does it take? So for us, we used to take seven days. It, it includes a bug fix or feature release. Uh, now we reduce that into one hour. So uh, it is pretty in impressive. So here's our full journey, uh, the practice we have done. Uh, we used to have a monolithic application just like uh, every giant application has, uh, uh, mixed with uh, front end and back end and uh, operational code, uh, shell script, uh, so much so forth. So we, trans we uh, refactor our architecture into microservice-based uh, 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 solution, and uh, it works pretty good. So, and we used to have a silo teams. Uh, by silo team, it's like uh, different functional uh, groups, uh, infrastructure team, product engineering team, uh, platform team, different teams, they have a different purpose, different prioritization, uh, which slows down the things. Uh, that's why we have seven days uh, to release a single line code change. We, uh, we actually, we actually uh, break down the infrastructure team and uh, embed each engine, uh, infrastructure engineer into product engineering team, empower the uh, in, uh, product engineering side to do more uh, frequent release. So now uh, we actually do a continuous deployment to production every day, every hour. Uh, we, re we reduce the release cycle by uh, testing directly in production, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, uh, we used to do uh, reactive uh, monitoring. We have our users to tell us we do good or we do bad. Now we have a uh, proactive uh, monitoring through a bunch of uh, uh, monitoring stack, uh, stack and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, A-B testing. So let's first uh, touch uh, silo teams. Uh, we have a sing we used to have a single cluster runs on GKE Google Cloud uh, Kubernetes cluster with uh, different uh, workloads. Like uh, they, they touch uh, briefly on the machine learning side, and we actually have machine learning. We have long time uh, uh, daemon, daemon jobs. We have uh, a short time uh, short time jobs uh, run running on a single cluster. We deco decouple that based on the functional. Uh, functionality and the uh, product engineering leads. And now we, uh, we used to have one infrastructure team which actually has uh, uh, so many different kind of uh, uh, requirements. Uh, they get burned out, they get on call. You have like uh, 10 people on call during middle of the night and nobody uh, have a good solution to stop shooting the problem. Uh, decouple cluster will make us uh, move faster and make things more efficiently. Uh, by uh, Dev DevOps culture, we keep us. We, we actually, uh, the industry has coined the term like uh, DevOps engineer, uh, full stack engineer. Uh, in Meetup, used to we have a de developer, we have QA, we have operational uh, engineer. Now we actually transform each of these responsibility into just a win one single stack. It's called T-shape engineering. Uh, some some companies call it generalist engineer. Uh, like I said, we do, inf we do continuously deploy deployments into production right now. So let's check out the, our CSAD pipeline. So like uh, some of the speakers has talked about this uh, GitOps flow, we adopted a GitOps flow as well. Like uh, we, we have a, a microservice repo. Uh, our configuration, the, uh, the, uh, the Kubernetes configuration, YAML file sitting side by side with our Scala, uh, Scala microservice uh, 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 repo. We have, a, we have a, a template repo which has uh, uh, many uh, best practice of uh, the conventions. So basically you have a new service, you spin off a new repo, uh, make uh, some necessary changes to make this the service more to the needs of the requirements. Um, and basically we, we use uh, GitHub, our uh, uh, version control system, uh, we have a PR, we have a LinkedIn, we have this uh, code review pro process. Once, uh, once get merged, we trigger a master build. 
and push into the container registry. We are we're running our Kubernetes cluster right now on AWS. Uh, we push the registry to ECR, and then the Kubernetes cluster pulling the image uh, from the ECR and deploy an application. So basically, you can see two steps. One is build time. The other one is deployment time. Uh, testing production. So maintenance is very hard. Uh, you have uh, uh, many of the people, they have to deal with the uh, uh, Kubernetes version upgrade. Right now, the Kubernetes uh, version upgrade is really fast. Six, six months, you have a new release. And uh, this, uh, Kubernetes is actually uh, side by side with the cloud provider. Also, cloud provider has its own uh, virtual, uh, for example, AWS has its own uh, EC2 instance upgrade as well. So we have to uh, constantly deal with this maintenance, and it's, it is pretty uh, hard to do uh, capable, capable speed. And maintain, maintain different environments is very hard too. Like you have QA environment, you have a staging environment, you have pre pro environment. You have to constantly worry about the uh, uh, data refresh to your pre staging before uh, have a surprise in, in production. I believe everyone, uh, many of you have a similar disaster experience before as well. And sometimes it's not reliable. Uh, it could be uh, due to the network connectivity issue. It's just uh, so flakiness and you couldn't reproduce. And for some time you just give it up. And uh, uh, testing production is a truly uh, continuously de delivery. It allows us to move faster than ever. But in the meanwhile, we do care about our users, our members. So we do have a certain, uh, certain things to guard, safeguard our release, uh, which is continuous delivery. We have a feature flag. Our feature flag is, uh, our feature flag is user centric. We can determine uh, the user uh, who can access this feature or not. And also we can uh, uh, re roll, roll, for, roll back pretty quickly as well. And we have beta release, so for each of the so for, for each of the set of features, we build a feature flag and we beta release in batch. And we have A-B testing to ensure the product is actually has a, a positive user impact on the user side. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is a proactive monitoring. Uh, so right now we're talking about microservice architecture. Usually in practice, you will have seen this uh, uh, pipeline, CICD pipeline, re replicating to a three or more than each of the microservices. You have to constantly to uh, uh, monitoring uh, the build success, build failure, and deployment success, deployment failure. So we actually find out all these messages into Slack. And we also have this uh, uh, across teams monitoring as well, so that uh, every team can uh, cross-check the, the, the deployment uh, status uh, so that no one is actually has, uh, is actually a transparency across the team. And we're also monitoring the external dependencies. We're using the uh, SaaS solutions. We use a GitHub. We use a Travis. We use AWS. So we need to care. We need to care about their status too. So we also uh, we also uh, aggregate their status uh, information to our uh, Slack channel as well. So that's our full story. Thank you.